Right, let's get this mini cut on the way now, shall we? Ah. Okay, so if you don't know me already, my name's uh, George Sampo. I'm a transformation coach from Fitness for Less uh, High Woods in uh, Colchester. Um, I've got two and a half years experience, and this is a picture of me, probably the leanest of which I've been. And here's me now. And now due to unfortunate circumstances that have been going on in my life, which I may add is fortunate, but a lot of stress has been going on, so you can't always maintain the shape. Okay, yeah, so on the way to work now, uh, about to train, you know, a few of my morning clients. There's actually Lauren coming in today, it's her birthday. Still coming in, getting that graph done. That's what I love to see. So as you can see, um, the scale weight, was 89 which is not good um, it's basically come up from 80 so yeah it's quite a vast increase of probably some of that's going to be things like water retention and stuff like that you know but um had a pretty bingy weekend as well but now back on it um, roughly going to try and lose around three pound a week. Um, what I'll do is, is I'll lower my calories. Yeah, so I'll increase um, slightly a bit more in cardio. Um, really focus on things like sleep, um, preparing all my foods, etc., and logging everything down on my fitness pal to suit the macros that what I'm on. So I'm going to put myself roughly around to about 1,900 uh, calories, roughly around that mark to 2,000. Um, this isn't really like including like veggies because I'm going to be having quite a lot of vegetables um, throughout the day. We roughly consist of, let's say, four or four meals, maybe five, depending on like how the day goes. Um, two meals. Uh, carb pre and post and then the others are just going to be you know good fats good proteins also going to add to two sessions this week I'm going to add 20 minutes on the stepper and also try and keep my steps at around roughly 17,000 don't want to be doing too much yet um, obviously just what see if the scale weight drops with what I'm doing and then if it does perfect I don't need to be doing any more um, and that's it really also going to be implementing um, a five hour fast upon waking so I woke up at seven so I won't be eating till 12 which works well with me because uh, um, just the way my schedule fits around really also be training uh, push today so I'll you know video the whole thing and see how it goes <coughs> haven't trained pushing over about 10 days now um, only done a <coughs> little deload so it'll be good to see how I fare and I'm looking forward to getting back into it just a little pointer as well guys um, the first initial part of any diet is just cleaning it up so making sure that you're not eating shit making sure that the foods that you are eating are clean basically so you know lean proteins ensuring that you've got veggies with meals um, like low calorie condiments if they need to be in there and just yeah keeping it clean basically meal prep pouliers going down the actual sand okay so all I'm prepping at the moment is literally just the vegetables so I've got uh, peppers, got mixed pepper, got some mushroom some onion, some courgette. So that'll just all go in one big little container ulia. Wherever they are. So that'll go in there. Bang. Decided to throw a whole bag of spinach in there as well. We hear you. Mince cooking up. Yeah, you. First meal's going down the at chit. Comes the oats with, I think it's 25 grams of whey, um, with 150 
grams of blueberries, which I've just weighed up on there, and 25 grams of dark chocolate. Just put a bit more water in the oats. Another minute in there. Mix it all together. And then that will... Have a look at that. So I only had about a 10 minute nap now. For time for a coffee. I ain't had one of these in about five days. So... So as you can see, I'm wearing uh, cuffs. <clears throat> the reason for this being is uh, the cuff to the elbow actually brings the weight closer to the targeted muscle, which would be the chest, to stretch it out. Here I was just uh, warming up on the uh, dumbbell shoulder press. Um, as you can see, um, up as quick as I can, slow on the way down, just to see how much potentiation I can um, put through the set and see how heavy I can go as I am off the back of the D-line. This is actually a part of uh, my working set on here and it felt quite nice. Making sure I adduct the elbows across the top of my shoulders as much as I can so I can contract hard at the top this way I'm getting a bit more uh, front delt uh, improvement and basically getting as much as bang as fuck as I can for the exercise which is, I mean, the main goal for hypertrophy if you want to gain some muscle. <sighs> So um, this is actually my fourth exercise. I didn't manage to get the barbell incline up because um, I basically had to ask someone to spot me and I forgot. Um, as you can see on the dips here, I'm coming down really slow on the way down and a big pause and a push up, trying to contract the chest as much as I can on the way up. Okay, so this is actually the last exercise for chest my belly looks huge um, I was probably just down like 25 litres of water as I do throughout training I need to piss loads as you can see my chest is up my shoulder blades are back and I'm really focused on drawing on elbows across the body that is the main focus point of the exercise Produ productive training session done um, feels good not to be finishing buzzing off my tits um, as I'm usually walking around like, hey, hello mate, how you doing? You alright? Yeah, you, yeah, you. You alright, mate? Same? That's what I'm usually like, do you know what I mean? Because I take about 400 to 500 milligrams of caffeine. I mean, that pretty much sums up my uh, personality, I think, really. But yeah, I've got a few of the exercises in there. Obviously, didn't get the best angles. I'm only doing it on the blower. I'm not doing it on like a tripod with like a Mega 6 5000 Sega, Sega Sabertooth Tiger camera. Um, so yeah, but just giving you an insight on like what I'm doing, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, know what I mean?